And good afternoon. It is Wednesday, so you know if it's Wednesday, it is Wednesday with Mike and his Tech Talk. This time we have, I'm in the studio and Mike is at the shop and I'm going to have him talk to you from there. So Mike, go ahead and take it away. Okay. Um, I heard several of you made comments last week that you couldn't hear me, so I'm going to redo... Um, Okay. The conversation about UPSs updating your machines, um, that whole scenario that I talked about last week. Okay? I'm going to start with a UPS. Um, it's not just here in Florida, but um, if you watched, as there's heat around the country, there's places that are having power shortages, and they're talking about doing brownouts or uh, rolling blackouts okay what that means is the power company is running short on power so what they will do is they will um either run short on how much power they have available and it'll brown out which means you don't have your full voltage coming into your house which can cause problems with your machines okay so that's the purpose of the UPS is to stop that from hitting your sewing machine, your computer, uh, anything that you don't want to have the power issue with, okay? Now, I've also had some questions on what size do I need, okay? There's a couple of ways to figure this out, but one of the easiest ways is you look at the UPS that you're going to buy, and I'll use a for instance here a 650 VA power UPS. If you're running um, full capacity on it, it'll run for two minutes on the battery. Okay, so you don't have a long time if you're maxing out the unit. Okay, so that is if you're running 630 watts, okay, I mean, I'm sorry, 360 watts, you got about two minute runtime. So if you drop it down to 180 watts, you're going to have about a nine minute runtime. Okay, so what you're talking about the size of the unit you want is based on how many watts you're going to be pulling in when the power goes out and how long you want the unit to keep your sewing machine, computer, etc. up and running until you can gracefully shut down. Okay? So if you look at the back of your sewing machine and if for instance, a Unity or 6200 Brother Machine runs about 67 watts. A six needle machine runs 116 watts. So you can see the different machines pull different amount of wattages. Okay. In Sherry Studio, I bought a bigger unit on purpose because I wanted it to be able to run for a longer period of time so that when if she was doing a class and we had a brownout or a blackout or, or we lost power, she had some time to get you guys off on a class until she got power back up in the studio. So I bought a bigger unit. The bigger unit that I bought for that purpose even has a display on the front and whenever it's doing a draw, it says, I've got 170 minutes of runtime, okay? As you pull more watts against that unit, the runtime run goes down, okay? Like I said, that's a bigger unit because of what we're doing, and I wanted the ability to run a little longer for our class, okay? And it's just about like anything that you buy today, guys. The bigger 
it is, the more it's going to cost, the more capabilities you have. Okay? And that's the same with a UPS. Now I'm going to talk to you about doing updates to your sewing machine. If you go to Baby Lock, you download an update to your Solaris, you have it on a USB stick, or if you downloaded it wirelessly to your machine, you're going to put the USB stick in, or you're going to have it downloaded to your sewing machine. It tells you to hold down on the needle threader button. It tells you to um, turn the power on. Yeah, just set it right there. Thanks. Thanks. Um, it tells you to turn the power on and then it's going to give you a message and tell you to hit on the screen and hit load. Okay? A message comes up during this process that says do not turn the power on. Okay? Why? The machine has multiple boards inside of it. It does a backup and then it applies the update. Well, if you have a power hit or you turn the power off you're in the midst of doing that process okay if you're an unlucky person you just as bad as it sounds you can blow a board in the machine okay um, I know somebody had done it and they blew a board up and they literally ended up having to have a new board in the machine it backs each other up, those two boards. So uh, you can have memory corrupted in the machine. It'll come up and tell you that you're out of memory. You say, I don't have anything in it. So there's several different things that can happen during this process. So you can't predict, I can't predict when the power company is going to have an issue. Okay. That is another reason to have your machine plugged into a UPS because then it will give you enough time to finish that update and gracefully exit out and not have an issue. It's just um, a safety net is what I'm talking about to keep you up and running and not have an issue. Um, these UPSs run anywhere from about 50, 60 bucks higher in price okay obviously the higher in price the more wattage it'll control the longer runtime you have the more functions you have um, available to you so it, it basically boils down to uh, how long you want it to run if you lose power now let's just go to the point of this UPS is really designed for you to be able to stop, gracefully exit out of your machine, turn your machine off, and not have an issue. It's not meant to run for the day. Okay? This is not a house UPS generator uh, taking over from the power company if they go out. If you want something like that, then you're going to talk tens of thousands of dollars, okay? And that's a whole house unit that has a battery backup system, that has a generator, that has switches, that monitors your electric and gracefully exits from the power company to the battery, switches on the generator, and monitors it when the jet, when the electric company comes back on. It does the reverse. It does a graceful transfer of power from the generator to the house back to the power company. Those are a whole house UPS, a whole house power system. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something that is a lower end to keep you and allowing you to exit out of your sewing machine, allowing you to provide an update to your sewing machine and not have an issue. Okay? That's really what I'm talking about here. Okay, Sherry, anybody got any questions? Because I can't see it on my side.
Okay, yes, let me see here. As a matter of fact, let's see, Cindy Dellett would like to know, do you have a favorite brand? I typically look at Cyber Power or APS. Those are two of the biggest ones out there running. And guys, it's just like anything you look at reviews and you're going to see good and bad for both. Okay. I've got both. We run both. Okay. And I honestly can't say that I've had an issue with either one of them. Um, a fact of life is these batteries will die on you and you will have to replace the battery eventually. Okay. And you go down to your local battery store um, and you can buy them. They're not expensive um, to replace the battery. And it's as simple as take the cover off, unplug two wires, plug two wires back in, turn the sucker back on, and you're done. Okay, Maria Rodriguez says, thank you so much, Mike. Um, Jamie Brown. Thank you, Mike. You rock. I bought my UPS from Sam Club last week for $69. Plenty big enough to handle my 10-needle machine. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate all you do and share with us. Let me see. What else? Lots of people watching. Teresa Huber says, thanks, Mike, for always taking care of our questions and incredibly fast shipping. Um, let's see. Everybody, mostly they're all saying thank you. Like they love you. They're giving you thumbs all right. up hearts. So you know what I do? I exit and leave and go do something else and let you to do it. So you can hang up or I can hang up. Which one would you like? <laughs> hey, I got a red X. Let's see what happens. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> and like that, poof, he's gone. Okay, I get to do, uh, what is a UPS, Carol Costanza asked. Carol, you might want to re-watch re this. It is your um, ups, it, I don't know what it stands for. It's um, to back up, plug your computers and your machines and stuff in so that, to protect you from power surges and power outages. It's mainly the surges, I'll tell you. Um, here, I, I can tell because and it's not necessarily when there's a storm because usually if there's a storm you're going to shut things down you hear a storm coming and um thank you sandy uninterrupted power supply is the official name um but it's the ones that you don't know if the power company is slowing the power down and you have that brown out or you know here in florida we're flat but if you hear thunder 20 miles away lightning can travel that far so um, you know at that point it's I can hear it mine will go click 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 and to keep from having there's no fluctuations if it goes down yes everything's going to be shut down but it does give you time to turn everything off without um, you know taking a, a hard power hit so that's um, Mike wanted to go ahead and repeat that and yes he he takes time to do all the, this research for us. Um, he does read the reviews and, um, you know, checks all that stuff out. And when I need something, I say, hey, do you think you can find this for me? And he's off and running, whether it's a, you know, a camera, the UPS, lighting, or any of a number of hundreds of other things that I come across. Um, he's out there doing the research and finds it. So we certainly do appreciate him. Um, couple things we have going on um, I did send out an email earlier today so please make sure you take take a look at it it's just um, giving you the updates for the month there's something in there um, after you turn off your machine after that should you unplug if it's a really bad storm if you've unplugged uh, you know, it never hurts to unplug um, it, do it doesn't hurt to unplug things uh, when we go away for you know any time, few days, I go through and all my fans get turned off. Uh, I unplug. I uh, let's see. I did leave them plugged into the UPS, but then I turn off all the power. You know, if I've got switched power switches and shut everything down, you should be fine. But you know, the absolute 
best is to unplug it from the power source because then no, you know, nothing can get from the power to the machine or anything else. Had a little bit of thunder going on earlier. I have my one laptop in another room charging it. I just walked out, shut it down, and unplugged it. That's always the safest, um, you know, the safest bet. Then you don't have to worry about having any issues. Um, okay, back to the email. Sent out an email, just a couple things to let you know. Um, I don't have all of the details yet, so as soon as I do, I will, um, I will tell you. There is a new um, brother machine. It's probably called an XP3, uh, which would be the Illuminator 3. And um, they're at their conference this week. The end of the month is Baby Lock Tech, and they'll announce their new machines. So they're, um, um, oh, he just missed, sent me a message. There's three more cup of cheer bolts of fabric. So if there's something you're looking for, give it 15 minutes, he'll have it uploaded. Uh, a Solaris 3. When they come out with their first one, and then they came out with the two, there was an upgrade to upgrade you to two, if you want to do the upgrade. There's the same thing coming out. So for the Solaris and for the Brother, you cannot get one and put it on the other one. They're two separate. These machines are separate. We will have access to get either one of them for you, anyone who wants them. Um, I will uh, have more of the information. I don't have the pricing right now. I would just have to guess, and I don't like to do guessing. I like to get the information. So if you are interested, let us know. As soon as I find out um, that information, I'll send it um, out in an email so you'll be able to, um, to order or pre-order. I don't know the price. I don't know the availability. There's two different things when Mike was talking about updates. An update, that is something free that the Baby Lock Brother and the rest of them give you. It's for minor things. Sometimes they found a little bug or just like when you get updates for your um, Macs and your PCs and the rest of them, it fixes little bugs and fixes little things. Those are free. Upgrades are big things and they cost. You don't have to have them. An upgrade is an option. You know, it is kind of cool if you bought a car and next year they come out with a new model, you can't upgrade it. You have to trade in. This way you don't have to. You can get the new latest and greatest bells and whistles. The thing would be your machine won't have a number three on it if that's the, the case. You got a scan and cut or a sticker, put a three on. You don't have to have it. Uh, the only thing that I know about it is, and I assume it's the same you know, for both um, both brands, and there there's always some new smaller machines and other machines, which is why we try to clear do our clearance. Um, but there's going to be a ten, probably the ten and five eighths inch square, or ten inch square magnetic hoop, and I think there's another uh, a second hoop in there. I'm not for sure, but there's um, edge to edge quilting. Features, oh yes, we know we're doing all of this edge-to-edge -edge quilting. Well, there's going to be built into the machine, um, and which we haven't had before. Then um, there's going to be upgrades or up stuff to the My Design Center or the IQ. So that I do know. Um, and speaking of machines, we have like four machines left left only four at our clearance special if you're thinking or that you might like to go to a multi-needle we have a brand new six needle multi-needle machine that's um, that's available then we have um, a cover stitch machine we have one eight thread it's the smaller model but we have one eight thread which does the serging and the cover stitch. And, oh, I know, we have an Accord, a 5x7 embroidery hoop that's embroidery and sewing. Great travel machine. The only limitation is the 5x7 hoop. But you know, 
we do smart five by seven designs, you can move them and adjust them and use your um, thumbtacks and other things to be able to uh, re re um, re hooping, re hooping. That's what it is, re hooping. Okay, that was in the email. Let me see. Of course, I put in the classes that's going on, and I have to give a shout out to Pam Reininger because she is the one that keeps our um, friends of ANA White Page updated with the birthdays. So when you see all those birthdays, and then I'll go on and say happy birthday too, she has the calendar. And if your birthday has not been announced, it's because you haven't given us the information. We don't need the year because we don't care. We're all, we just want the the month and the day and we like to give a little bit of attention and a shout out to you so I have to say thank you for that and the fact that we got the dealer digital exclusives for this month the um, this is what we're doing this month the little pillows with the leather um, she helped me get those out we got the um, the Amelia Scott table runners. We got those kits done for this month. And I got ahead. I have September's dealer digital exclusives and table runners. You know, next month we're making the Halloween. So, yes, she helped me. I'm a little bit ahead, a little bit ahead. Um, if you were watching Kim just a little bit ago, she showed you that um, someone had taken their dealer digital exclusive pillow and stitched it with glow in the dark thread they did on the numbers all in the glow in the dark thread we have it so if you're interested in glow in the dark there are I think five colors they don't come as a set because they are I think they're like $19 a, a piece for a spool there's I guess a lot that goes into um, the thread so if you are, you know, if you're interested in it, uh, let us know. I think it may show out of stock on the website, but we're going to be placing another order. Just not going to keep a lot of it in stock. Um, we don't want the store glowing at night when we leave. We don't want it to look like we have shelves full of aliens. So we have that. Um, she helped me get those things caught up. Tis, uh, tis the season. I don't have all the, the samples here to show you, but that's one that's been retired from Kimberbell. And um, if you're interested, this is the last time around because I had like eight kits I found and put a class out there. So I don't even know if there's any of those left. We're doing Cup of Cheer today at uh, 2 to 4. It will be recorded. We are going to talk about clear blue, or not clear blue tiles, the um, orange pop rulers and cutting and the background quilting on your filler blocks. People got so confused about that that I decided that we need to address it. It's not difficult and I will show you how um, how to do that as well. Um, let's see. Oh, um, if you're doing Merry Christmas y'all, those designs are now available on Kimber Bell's site. This morning they weren't but when she was on at noon she announced that they are. The background quilting is optional if you wish to buy that. Then um, the pillow. This is one of the, the same size pillow that we made with the home, was it the um, Sweet Land of Liberty? Lucky for us, the um, Home Sweet Home. That's the same, the same size. Uh, just to give you a little, a little sneak, okay, because I like to, I like to share with you. Um, on the, the pillow, we are stitching on Friday. We'll work, we're going to work on the pillow, all the tips and hints and tricks and um, everything you need to know to get that pillow put together. But here is one of the blocks. Now this one does take the 6x10 hoop. And if you look at that quilting in the background, can you see that? The cactus, the background quilting. So we'll go over how to put those two together if you've not done them. So some of it might be a review, but, uh, and you notice I've saved, I took it out of the hoop and saved it so I can show you how to trim. Yeah, so you can, I can show you the trimming. And then right before I went live, I had to stitch this one out. 
Um, and we so what we have is we have the fabric kits in class. The class is just kind of an, an add-on or so along. Um, the fabric kits are cut and there might be a few of them left. Even if you can't you know, be there on Friday, if you purchase it, you'll get the recording. Um, the embellishments are in there. So there's lots of little things. This one has, um, if you look at this, this has the boots. And then you notice the little bells. Little pieces of, of um, gold leather for the bells. Then there's um, some rope in there. There's the beard for Santa, the Shannon. Uh, I've got all of that stuff in. Then if you want the designs, you go through our affiliate site, we appreciate, to Kimberbell, and you can immediately download and have the whole, to have the project, everything but the, the fabric. Um, so you can, use, you know, if you wanted to use your own fabric, you sure, certainly could. But I'll tell you, when I go to pick the fabrics and start cutting these pieces, I don't want to have to dig in my stash for every little, you know, every little particle. So that's what we've got going on. Um, our license to create. The boxes came in. Oh, I didn't get to show that to you. Hang on. Let me God, you'll be right back. Let me grab it. Forgot we need to do the unboxing. License to create fall. This is what you get. Yes. This box full of goodies inside the box so far because I haven't um, put the fabric in. There's plenty of room for it. There will be fabric. And they don't just give you little pieces. Look at this. This is the heavy um, stabilizer that we're going to need for several of the projects. And here's your, your cutaway. Is this the iron on? No. So it's not chintzy just a little piece of this and a little piece of that. You have the stuff that you need, the repositionable webbing, your tear away, all of those things are in this box. And you can see here, if you look down and you see the paper in there, each one of them have the paper and are labeled so that you have all of the stuff. And they left enough room in here. Oh, we're going to be doing the Woodland Storybook, the Angel Loft Bamboo Batting. And look at this. It even changed the colors up so you know which project bag it came out of. Um, the Holiday Harvest. The batting. It tells you what project it's for and the cut sizes. And if there's multiple projects, all of that is listed on there and labeled. And I will tell you, that this is the only place that you can get these designs. Once they're finished, you can't come back and say, oh, I just want one piece out of it. No, they, um, these are exclusive and we are going to have multiple, we're spreading it out, we are gonna have multiple fun. And you get this nice bag, zipper bag. I love these because I use them to put my projects in. And inside the bag, Whoops, that one's... <laughs> well, don't you just hate it. When you can't unzip it without cutting, they've got it tied off. They don't want me to get in there. Hang on. Got to find scissors. Okay. This is why your mother says don't run with scissors and don't use my fabric scissors to cut paper because she knows that you're going to end up with a hard piece of plastic. Now these are kitchen shears, but a hard piece of plastic and you're going to be using your her scissors. Okay, so we got that on. All right, so now inside. Ooh, fall colors. You're going to get a bag with some sample threads and the samples let's see there's matte finish oh i love the matte finish in fact my um pillow 
Merry Christmas, y'all. It is going to be matte finish thread. Then we have a sample here of the quilting thread. We have our Stitch Perfection tape. Then inside, let me see what else we have. Let's see, there's, ooh, Mylar. So the Village and the Woodland book. We're gonna be using Mylar, so they've given us a piece of Mylar. Here's your rinse away topper. And again, if you look, it tells you what's in there and they're labeled for the project. So you know um, the, oh, the bold underlay, the garden flag and the Halloween bag. I am putting in there, in your bags, your part of your fabric is going to be, um, I got some, um, some nice quality canvas for the bags. Here's our stitch of templates. And then you get a binder with all of these. Everything's on the a USB stick, including the videos. So they put videos in there. And then here's your color. You've got your color, whoops, if I stand here, your color palette of um, fabrics. Now you know I changed things up a little bit. But you've got nice written instructions that you can follow as well as um, the videos and then we do the class so you know you've got all of this look at this all the stitch outs are all done in color so you can see the steps so you could do this by yourself um, here's our gnome yep our fun little gnome here's the one that I made that has mine whoops Get his ribbon out of the way. Mine went to Disney, so he's got ears. We're going to do some fun stuff with that. So this is our, the projects. And the there's the houses. Let's see, we do that. And then where's the book? There's that really soup. We're going to make a, a yard banner. So this, this is what we're going to be doing. This starts the end of this month. So if you want to be there, it's a small group. I only order 25. Um, and it goes on. And from there, we'll um, be working together and have our own little exclusive group. So we have that. And lastly, Kimberbell gave us a list of their events and I think most of them I have um, scheduled already if you've not taken them or you know someone who hasn't the end of the year they are retiring sugar plum uh, that's one that I just did again a couple weeks ago and had a full class the sugar plum jubilee the vintage flora and that's the one with the little purses those are their little um, half day events those will be retired and gone. Day at the fair. Um, star, star Spangled Celebration. I knew that one we've had a lot of fun with. I think I've got it scheduled one more time. And Kimber Bell's Kitchen with the apron. It is. Those are all gone, retired at the end of the year. Um, Birdie, you will have to go on to our website because I don't remem memorize prices and I don't I hate to give out the wrong amount um, but what we do with our embellished license to create is the box with all of that stuff in it is only part of it the rest of uh, what you you get and you pay for is the fabric I pick the fabric and put a fabric kit in there for you to make all of the projects well, I think there'll be a little extra in there because we've got the gnomes and we want to, you know, I just think this gnome, I did do him in the blues, but how cute would he be for Halloween, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for patriotic holidays? How about an Easter bunny with Easter ears or, you know, all of those different things. So um, I expect that there'll probably be some extra fabrics in there for you to choose from and choose what um, you know what model known you want to make but if you go onto the website and type in um, I think it's the license to create fall it'll pop up and that includes your um, fabric kit your five classes 
and um, the box with all the embellishment stuff in it. So, um, and that has some threads and things, unless there's something else that you want to add. Um, all of that stuff's in there. So it's really quite um, quite a deal. And you can add, if you want, um, I think it's a four month trial of embellish maker software. Yeah, that's always, that's an option too, so. Okay, ladies and gentlemen and kids and dogs, cats, and anybody else out there paying attention to us today. Um, we will be back tomorrow. Let's see, tomorrow's Thursday. I, have to, I do have to look at a calendar to remember what day it is. Yes, um, we'll be doing our Vintage Jewel Block of the Month 8, the 8 blocks uh, tomorrow. But we will be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And uh, Pam's still out on the road. Uh, she's traveling home. And when, once she gets there and gets settled, I think she's going to be popping on on Tuesdays since we have Mike on Wednesdays to um, kind of you know, break things up a little bit. And then you don't have to just listen to me. Um, let's see. And I think that's it. So unless there's another comment or a question, I don't see anything else. You guys make it a great afternoon. And remember, if you're interested in the um, the upgrades, just let me know. Um, it's not committed to it. We'll put it out there. You'll be able to order them once I get the details because I just don't have any more information than that. They usually keep that pretty close um, we don't know what's going on or what's, um, you know, the new things until the conventions. That's when they actually announce it. But what always happens is Brothers is before Baby Lock. And since they both have the same type of machine, once it's the cat's out of the bag, then everybody knows. You just don't know all of the other details. So as soon as I know, I will let you know. So make it a great day. And... As a challenge of always, go so something.